Hey YouTube, today we're going to be doing a little bit different of a video compared to what we normally do. If you've found us before or subscribed, you know that we cover a lot of homemade hydroponic systems and growing stuff like lettuce, basil, and cilantro indoors in our homemade system. Well, today is going to be a little different. Recently, a friend at work wanted to get his dad a, a hydroponic system so he could start growing vegetables indoors. And he knew what I was doing, so I hooked him up with one of our deep water culture systems and a few components that he needed to get his dad going. However, we quickly both realized that for his dad to really get into it because he's already enjoying it, that there's, there's some things missing that he needs that I didn't really cover with him and I feel bad. And so I thought I would make this video for all the new people out there that want to get into hydroponics, but they're just not quite sure what they need to get. Don't let everything in front of you scare you. You will not need all of this to start, but just know that once you get bitten by the hydroponic bug, you're probably going to want to buy a lot of this stuff. So let's keep this video short and get to the nitty gritty. The first thing that you're going to need are some rock wool cubes. We put our seeds in this, and if you go this route, you're going to need them. I love them. Super easy. Get our stuff growing nice and quick. You're going to need some hydrogen. Nothing special. You can get this at the local hydroponic shop or on Amazon. Uh, stay tuned. I'll, I'll give you more info on that. Some net cups. They go all the way from half inch up to this size here, which fits right over top of your five gallon bucket. If you don't do the crack key method, and you go with like a deep water culture system like the tub that we use you're going to need an air pump to oxygenate the water and along with the air pump you're going to need some tubing and an air stone or two you will also need some nutrients and we have a brand of nutrients in front of us called Soul we picked them up from our local hydroponic shop they gave them to us for free freaking score to uh, try out but we had them out so we put them up here a pH meter it's pretty critical it's not essential I've grown lettuce successfully without checking my pH but when you start getting into peppers and tomatoes and that kind of stuff you're really gonna want to know what your pH is so we have a pH meter a packet to calibrate our pH meter and some general hydroponics pH up and pH or pH up and pH down and as you guessed it if you want your pH to go up you put some pH up in if you want it to go down you put some pH down in and we've got some handy dandy measuring spoons to measure out our nutrients the next thing that you're gonna need and this is usually the scary part for a lot of people is the light what we have in front of us if you've seen in our other videos is a fluorescent light that we picked up off of Amazon for about 75 bucks sounds like a lot but trust me when you start looking at grow lights it's really not that much and we're using it to grow our Carolina Reaper peppers right here which if you're interested in Carolina Reaper peppers check out our video on them but you're gonna need a light and if you're gonna grow indoors there's no way around it you're gonna need a light to go along with your light because of the, the hours that you need to have light on versus light off while growing your plants is a timer. Now don't be overwhelmed by all this. I started out growing lettuce with a tub, some rock wool cubes, some basic nutrients that I picked up for dirt cheap from a hydroponic store, an air pump, an air stone, some tubing, and my light. I didn't even have a timer. I was doing it by hand. And I grew lettuce successfully. So in short, as we talked about before, I just want to give everybody that's a beginner to growing hydroponically what they're in store for. Everything on this table, you're looking at a few hundred bucks. It sounds like a lot, but you're going to use this stuff forever. Everything that I've bought throughout my journey, which has been about a year now growing hydroponically, I still have, and I use almost every day, and now I have a couple different systems going. So check out the description box below because I have a link to all the stuff that you would need and it's all linked to Amazon, super cheap shipping and usually get it within a couple of days and you don't have to buy from there but it's just to give you an idea of what the products are. As always, check out our other videos. We have some uh, tutorials on how to build some cheap systems and we cover growing different kinds of stuff like lettuce, cilantro, uh, we're currently growing peppers, whatever and we're going to keep sharing our adventures through this because we found it really hard to find stuff 
about growing vegetables and whatnot indoors because everything out there seems to be related to marijuana. And it's not that we're against marijuana, it's just we're not growing marijuana and we needed resources on how to grow regular food and whatnot. So we started making these videos. So like us, subscribe, give us a share on Facebook so we can keep on growing. And until next time, keep it real YouTube.